Hi guys, welcome to the 8th episode of how to make a Roblox rig series. In today's episode, I will be showing you how to make an IK switch. So we can switch between forward kinematics, which is normal rotations and this. So let's get started. So let's go into edit mode so we can add a new bone. So this is exactly what we're going to do actually, add a new bone. And just select that bone and move it upwards to wherever you want. So I'm going to move it here. And I'm going to just size this down. It really doesn't matter how big it is. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep it at this size. And in fact, I'm going to move it up a little bit more. And you're going to want to call this bone settings or IK settings or whatever. I'm just going to call it settings. And this is where we will store all of our switches and toggles and all of that. So this is getting into a little bit of complicated territory, but I will try and be as simple as I can for you. And we will only be adding IK switches, nothing else. So let's do it. So what we're going to do is go into the bone properties right here and go to custom properties and click on new. And right here, you can see we've got a property called prop. And if we go right here, once we press N in the side panel, you can see it's in the properties panel right here. So currently all we have is just a slider, number slider or value slider, whatever you want to call it. And um, we're going to actually change this to a checkbox. So what you want to do is go right here to the gear icon in the bone properties and change the type to Boolean. Change the property name to something like uh, left arm. Let's, let's do left leg IK. And in the description, we're just going to put in turns on inverse kinematics for the leg the left leg do not add a full stop there's already one automatically added in for you i don't know why it's just there so do not add one and click on ok so i'm going to make this smaller right here you can see we can check it and uncheck it it's very useful so what we're going to do is we're going to go and right click on this and click on copy as new driver and we're going to select our left lower leg and we're going to go to the bone constraint properties and we're going to go to the influence right here on the ik constraint right click it and paste driver so now as you can see it's on because uh this was checked if we turn it off ik is no longer on and we can rotate it the way we want it to be and we're going to add three more of these and i'm going to make this one right leg ik and i'm going to change the type to boolean and uh i'm going to actually copy this description from here and change it to right so right here we're going to change for the right leg this one is going to be the left arm ik i'm going to i'm going to just paste that in and change this to left arm okay and add another one change this to boolean and change this to right arm ik and add the description in and change this to you know just change this entire part right arm and there we are. And so repeat the process of copying as new driver and going right here to the left arm and uh, pasting that driver in. And we're just going to keep doing that for all the parts that we haven't done yet. So I'm going to go right leg right here, copy as new driver, paste that in. Same with the right leg, same with the right arm, just like that. So you can test this out by just adding some IK movement to these and you will see that once we turn all of these off, they don't show up anymore and they rotate the normal way. Now, something that you might actually want to also change is this circle that shows the rotation track. I usually turn this off, actually. Um, I know Parry Bears and Matt Roblox don't. I do. I turn it off. So the way I do this is copy the driver. So let's go left leg IK. Copy his new driver. Select the left lower leg. Go right here to the bone properties. Go to the inverse kinematics and just add in the driver. So as you can see, IK is on and this will show up. But um, if we turn off left leg IK, it doesn't show up anymore. So that's cool. And of course, you might be like, OK, but you can still select the, the lower leg when uh, IK is on. Well, we're going to be changing that once we go into the next episode. But that's the next episode, so just wait. So I'm going to paste these drivers in. This is very fun. I love this. I'm very happy because I just found out this checkmark 
feature just like I just found out it existed. And that is how we make an IK switch. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, if you feel like supporting me, you can download my rig from the link in the description for the cost of only £3. Thanks for watching. Bye.